Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to A Place in Space. It is a Tuesday, which will, of course, mean it's brand new comic delivery day. So we have a pre-prepared Blue Peter-esque fashion stack to get through. Let's get going. The Autumnal number one is out, yes, again. Nightfall, which is the new imprint of Vault Comics there, had such success with issue one, they've reissued it, with a brand new cover from Mr. Martin Simmons as well, so you may already know from the Department of Truth, which some of you, actually a lot of you, would have bought a couple of weeks ago. This is now out number one, just in time, of course, cunningly enough, for issue number two. That is now out here. All right, then we got Batman Three Jokers, issue three. Mm -hmm. Let me get this done. From DC. I know we all said it would never be out, but it is finally out. And, of course, I don't want to see the insides because I'm a little bit behind. The card you will get with the issues as well, which is very snazzy. Really quite a nice set to be putting together, actually, those three cards they've done with the covers. Very cool. More on this later. Now then, this is Batgirl issue 50, the Terry Dodson cover. There is a main cover which I've elected not to show here because it is gorgeous, but it's the main. And so many of you have it because it went bloody ballistic this week on pre-order. So, okay, so there's Dodson for the moment. It's the only one we got left. Dark Knight's Death Metal Rise of the New God. These guys win at lengthy titles. That is the latest one shot here. Of course, the Boss Logic variant went absolutely loopy this week online we don't have any of left that i'm afraid but we've got this one in store here and online from tonight and tomorrow batman detective comics 1029 brings in a brand new story arc who is this this is the challenge debut of the mirror part one on 1029 now so it's quite nice to see a new little direction from kenneth rockerfort on the artwork duties as well liking him here's one Hellboy and the Return of Effie Cobb, Hellboy and the BPRD. This was originally solicited to be out easily over a year ago. It's really quite late, but if you're a Hellboy fan, it's probably going to have been worth the wait. We do enjoy Mr. Mike McNolan's creations around about here. Very cool. Justice League Dark, issue 27. This marks the start of The Cost, part one, from Ram... Ram V or Ram the Fifth? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name, sir, but it's bloody cool. Loving that, and I also want to use this as a cheeky little segue. Because not only do I adore Justice League Dark, but you also do this, which is, yes, a trade, and it's snuck in the old comic section here, but there's a reason. Trust me, there's a reason. It's coming up. The Savage Shores is probably the best vampire's tale you've never heard of. It's not Bram or Stokers or Capes or Fangs and Night or anything you've heard of. It's proper old school esoteric occult vampires from the Orient. It is a... Read it. It's beautiful. Keeping in the graphic novel theme, which I just showed there, this is Ramby's latest, an a OG, OGN, original graphic novel, shall we say, with artwork which is, again, very similar to something you may have seen in the Department of Truth. Very different team, but Image probably knocking it out of the park on that one, so count me in for that one, boys and girls. Very cool. Phantom Star Killer. This is new from Black Caravan Comics, an imprint. Lots of imprints going on this week. An imprint from Scout Comics. I know nothing about this. Other than I thought it looked cool. And it's a brand new number one, which means it's probably sold out by the time I finish this video. But we have a couple of copies in stock if you wish to get involved. Rick and Morty, Ever After, new number one from Oni Press, if you fancy the glorious ongoing tales of your favourite Back to the Future knockoff. Spawn 311. Um, this is cover B, the Chadwick Boseman tribute cover. There is also a cover D, which is a black and white Chadwick Boseman tribute cover. These have been printed correctly by image. Covers A and C are online, but they are incorrectly printed. So if you fancy yourself some spawn immediately, they are online to buy now. Uh, they are correctly reprinting the extra covers, and we will ship, uh, receive those from our suppliers next week. Okay, so if you really, really want everything perfectly in order, wait the week. If you just want to go online and grab them now, four covers to choose from. But that is 311 Really quite tastefully done from McFarlane and the boys and co. Very cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. Not featuring their greatest unknown uh, villain, Terrapin. The Unholy Bastards vs. the Future, begrudgingly from the pages of the Goon. I'm not just making that up. That is actually on the cover. Huzzah. Thank you, Mr. Eric Powell. Always cool. Amazing. Let's pause for two seconds. This is the Department of Truth, issue number two. One was fantastic. James Tinian, also writing Batman right now, is knocking it out of the park on this one. Um, if you are in any way a fan of espionage, intrigue, uh, some sort of conspiracy theory, there was something for you in that book. I'm anticipating it, it will be reprinted from issue one if you missed it. So hold fire. But holy smokes, look away if you don't want to see inside. Keep watching if you do. 
just fantastic from Martin Simmons on the artwork. Beautiful stuff. Cannot wait to read that. Exosword Stasis. This is part 11 of Exoswords. That's out now. And also, it's previews week. If you've never done a previews, basically, it's a phone book S-size catalog of everything shipping in a couple of months. So it's probably the best ever way to plan out potential future purchases or just to get a kind of inside scoop about where the industry is going, really. A um, few more minutes for couples of the week. Couples of the week? That sounds kinky. Covers of the week. Let's try that instead. This is the Autumnal Issue 1 foil printing, again from Martin Simmons, which we showed at the regular cover at the start of the video, but hopefully the camera's pricking up just how pretty that is. It's very pretty. Very shiny. Very nice. Batman the Three Joke. <coughs> Got the Rona. Batman Three Jokers. This is a red hood cover. Very nice indeed. God, I've gone and forgotten who this is. Johnson, Johnson somebody. Help from the back, please. Dave Johnson. Thank you. Dave Johnson on Undiscovered Country Cover B this week. That is issue nine. Absolutely stunning stuff. I'm going to move that a little bit closer. Hopefully the camera will focus and pick up some of those details. He's got a very fine line-esque technique, comparatively similar to someone like Frank Cho. Beautiful, beautiful. The closer his covers get, the more stunning they look. Lovely. I'm going to take this one out of the bag and board. If you're slightly squeamish, look away. Maybe not one for the kids, but this is indeed the regular one in 25 cover. This is the Department of Truth variant. Expect this to be the hottest cover of the week. Youch. That's a bit grim, but very cool. Don't, you're not, basically, if you're buying this book, you're not in for its niceties and how to pray. This is a very dark piece. Two more. Lieber Mijo does the horizontal detective comics. Not quite Adam West, but very cool. And woof, basically. Wonder Woman, 765. This is Joshua Middleton. It's... Yeah, they've even put W on it for woof out of 10. Thank you very much. They've obviously been listening to us here in Croydon. That's enough for now one week. I'm retiring for a week. I'm on holiday. See you in a week. Bye.